I was called in to do the night shift, 10 p.m. to 4 a.m. at 7-Eleven, since somebody called out. The store was located on a busy road in a rather quiet and rural area. During the night shift, you could expect anywhere from 10 to 20 people come in to buy a beer or something else. This one particular night, there was this one guy, mid-twenties, that came in. He started making weird noises, like loud yelling noises. I assumed he had some kind of mental disability. In fact, my brother has a mental disability, so I immediately felt sympathy for the guy. He walked up to the counter without any items, with his head facing me, but his eyes were looking up at the ceiling. I felt uncomfortable. I honestly didn't know how to deal with it. I tried speaking with him, but he only responded in loud noises. I kept checking if he was with someone outside, but he was alone. There weren't any cars in the parking lot, so I assumed he walked. He stood there for so long, looking up at the ceiling and making noises, that I tried to get him out by handing him a bag of chips and telling him he can go. I tried finding some kind of number to call for someone to help him. Then, out of nowhere, he finally turned around and walked out of the store. I felt so horrible for the man, but at the same time, I felt a bit creeped out. About an hour later, the phone on the counter rang. I picked up to hear the familiar yelling sounds of the man from earlier. It caught me off guard. I didn't know what to think, other than this has to be some kind of prank. I hung up on them and was now becoming paranoid of my surroundings, constantly checking the outside through the windows. Come four o'clock, the person working after me came in, finally allowing for me to go home. It wasn't my problem anymore. I got home and threw all my stuff on the table, ready to get to sleep. But my phone rang within a minute after entering the door. I felt a chill run down my spine. Why would someone be calling at 4am? I could only imagine it was bad news. I braced myself and picked up the phone to hear the man again. I felt sick to my stomach as I listened to the loud noises he made. I struggled to slam the phone to the receiver. All night I felt like I was being watched, even with all the blinds shut. And I could swear I heard strange noises coming from all over my house. I refused to get any sleep until the sun came up. Weeks passed and I had forgotten about the incident. Until one day, when going into the basement for the first time in a while, I found that papers had been scattered all over the floor, and when I went into the basement closet, I found writing on the walls. 7-Eleven had been written in Sharpie on the wall, along with the address to the 7-Eleven I worked at, and my house address. The most disturbing part. I also found various kitchen knives, along with a large pocket knife sitting in the closet. What started out as seemingly just an innocent person, turning into something of a prank, ultimately turned into something much more horrifying. He had been living down there for God knows how long, and I'm just grateful that, for whatever reason, he changed his mind and left because I haven't seen or heard from him since. All I can say is that man is dangerously ill.